off to go and walk the pooch. Hi guys, so we've just come out oh, to be mark for a little evening walk with the dog. There he is. See, oh, can't even see him. But yeah, we're just coming out for a little evening walk. And then I'm gonna go home and make chicken pie for him. And I'm gonna have like a veggie pie with mash. But I'll film it so you guys can see how I do it and what I do. Hey guys, so I'm home and I thought I would cook with you. I really enjoyed that last time when I made the roast for mum. So I thought, let's do it again. So I am making my chicken pie mash with broccoli tender cream on the side. I just thought I would show you what I'm doing as this is a little vlog with me. So yeah, let's get cooking. So guys, I have chopped all the onion, it is in the pan, frying now. I have got the potatoes on boiling, ready to be mashed. So I'm gonna have, oh, and I've chopped the broccoli tender stream down. So I'm gonna go and have a little break and watch Gilmore Girls, and then I'm gonna come back, mash it, and then carry on with the second part of the pie. This is the mashed potato. It's looking delish, it's mashed, got butter in, I just put a little bit of butter on the top and then I just poke some holes in it, let the butter on the top to seep through. So now I'm going to bake this for around about 40, bake this side cake, roast this for about 40 minutes while I finish everything else off and put the baster on the pie and get that and get the pie in the oven. <laughs> dog listen to him because he wants to have the car we're just trying to get our wellies on and put my hat on and he is literally get cozy oh this 
hat and scarf it is actually so cute i'm ready to go i'm not gonna lie guys i might have to walk like this because it is windy but i'm scared that's gonna smack me in the face or that one <laughs>
Saturday. I had to think about that then. I've just got the bath. I have had my hair in some hair oil. My friend got me this for Christmas and it is the cutest little set ever. It's all the hair syrup, hair, hair oils. I was going to say, I mean, I'm totally blank then. But today I used the G&T, which is the ginger and turmeric pre-oil wash. Last week I used the vitamin C one and it was so, so nice. So now I'm just going to blow out my hair do my makeup i've got a little bit of content to shoot and then i'm going on my first horse riding lesson in a while i am so excited i love horse riding and i haven't been in such a little while pre-covid was my last lesson not gonna lie i am gonna be nervous because i've been on a horse in a while but it's gonna be so much fun i just can't wait to get back on the horse but I'm going to blow dry my hair using my Bondi Boost blow up brush. I love this brush. I have used this, like, since I got it. This has been the only thing I've been doing my hair with. And then I just go over it with the straighteners. If it is a bit fuzzy, my hair lately has just been wild. So, 2024 is all about the hair growth. And getting that glowy skin. My under eye bags, like, honestly. I've had dark circles. My whole entire life i would just love to know how to get rid of them but hey it is what it is gang and hey guys oh please ignore that mess let's try and hide the mess hide the mess i'm back i am now filming some content for lavore styling some little cute new year's eve looks for you girls but i'm keeping it really really simple i'm not a big fan of going out on new year's eve i like it more chill i like to enter the new year fresh but if i was to go out these are the kinds of outfits that I'd wear because I'd probably just be going for like a low-key dinner, maybe a glass of Prosecco or two and then heading home. So these are the kinds of outfits that I would wear and they're also very cost effective because they're all pieces that I've already got. Apart from the pants, as, <laughs> as apart from the pants, as Laval have sent them to me. But the tops, the jumpers and stuff that I'm going to style with, they're all already in my wardrobe. And some of them are really good capture wardrobe pieces that I've just teamed with the pants just to show you guys different ways that you can incorporate your wardrobe already into some new looks for new year's eve my second glass of chai seed water i'm gonna make a late brunch get ready go horse riding <laughs> so i think i filled you guys in on yesterday so yesterday we drove to wales anglesey to go to this lighthouse i'm not gonna try and pronounce the name of the lighthouse because i absolutely will butcher it but it was in incredible like we had such a good day we just loved every minute the sun the weather leaving liverpool was awful and when we were driving the weather was awful and we were like oh the weather's gonna be so bad but we'll still get up and do the walk and we got there the weather was amazing it was cold it was windy the wind was like 18 miles per hour which is kind of crazy and then getting blown off the side but the sky was just right opened right up for us the sunset was beautiful. The dog was just in his element. He met so many other dogs and on the end of the walk, he actually met a dog that is one day older than him, a little Labrador. I can't remember her name, but she was so, so cute. And she was wild. She was jumping all over him. Like she was jumping over him playing. And he was just looking at her like, you're crazy. But he loved her. He had such a good little play with her. And then... We drove to Ross and Ar Ross and Arga. I hope that's right. I really do hope I'm saying that right. But that's where we went to. We drove around like the little village. It's so cute. And then we went for dinner. The food was so, so good. The dessert, oh my goodness. I got an apple and berry crumble. Delish. Loved every minute. Got a hot chocolate to go. And then we just drove home. And now today I've shot the content. I'm making a late brunch because I'm so hungry. I had jam on toast when I first woke up this morning and a cup of tea. But now I'm just like, I need food. Tumblr, just come on. Sorry if you can hear that, guys. And then we're going to head for my horse riding lesson. I have no idea what to wear. I used to always just wear, like, gym sets. But that's because it was mainly, like, the weather was better. The weather's a bit grim, so I think I'm going to go for, like, leggings, jumper. I can't remember what shoes I used to wear. Amateur. Such an amateur. But yeah, I'm going to go and do that now. Make the food, have a coffee, and then go. So guys, I am ready. I've just put on a little white t-shirt. 
this little jumper. I've got my Lovell leggings on. I've got a pair of welly boots on. I've put on this really chunky AVZ jacket. So the dog's just crying to go out. This AVZ jacket, I don't have to keep it on or put on a gilet, I don't know. I don't know, they might just keep it on for warmth. Anyway, let's go. Okay, I changed my mind. I've put on the gilet on. It's got a hood too, because it's raining. That's gonna come in handy. Feels a bit lighter too, so a bit more free. A bit more room to move. Okay guys, we've arrived. The weather is still absolutely dreadful. And I've got freshly washed hair. The weather is, oh, my bottle leaked. Oh, my bottle's leaked. I didn't actually intend on having clean hair. I was gonna leave it dirty, but then I had content to shoot today. So I had to do it. So I'm gonna put it in a, a low pot. Maybe I just do two plants. I don't know. I just maybe. Put it all back, I think, in one little low plot, maybe. Or a low bun. Low plot, low bun. I'm actually early, which is really good because I am normally late for a lot of things. I really, really don't like sticking hairspray on freshly washed hair, but needs must. Needs must, guys. I'm gonna take my water bottle out of here because it's leaked. It's there. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Look at my teeny weeny plant. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. I'm gonna put me hold up. Don't think I'm gonna need me bag, so I think I'm just gonna leave me handbag. Yeah. Okay. Let's zip this up. And let's go. Ready, let's go. stop following me around you just won't leave me alone i give him some sardines and biscuits then and i think he wants milk we can have some later i have just gotten home from my horse riding lesson it was so so good guys honestly you love me you know when i say that mouth <laughs> oh my god you can see it. you just show your big dirty mouth to everybody i need to go and wipe it this is what he wants. He wants me to show you guys. Do you know, he's so dedicated to you guys. He wants me to show you guys the bathroom that I'm sick in the bathroom now because he wants to see me do it. So, yeah, I just had the best time. Hey! What else? If I stick it here, you'll see him button. I just had the best time. The ladies that helped me on the lesson were amazing. They were just so nice. I think because you, when you're doing something new and you are an adult and you are a beginner, Sorry guys, he's just sniffing me wrist now. I haven't got any perfume on. He can probably smell the horse really close. Yeah. What? I'm trying to, I'm trying to chat. So yeah, um, 
but I had such a lovely, lovely time. The ladies were so lovely. I just felt so calm. I wasn't nervous with the ladies teaching me the moves and stuff. The moves, like I had to dance the, the ropes and stuff because it's quite daunting. You're getting on this huge horse. And I was nervous. When I first got on the horse, I was nervous. The horse was huge. I was first on Bobby, as you'll see. But then Bobby is only six years old and he started to play up a little bit. So then they put me on Colin, who was like 17 years old and he was a dream. He was so, so good. I just I just loved every minute. It was just so much fun. So super, super glad I am back to doing them lessons. And now I'm just home. I'm going to put the pie that I made not yet, the day before. We've got half that left and half of the mash left. Here he is again. So we're going to put that in the oven. I'm going to get a bath and have some dinner and just have a nice relaxing night. And a nice early night. We're both really, really tired. So these are the bathrooms that my little brother got me for Christmas. And Messiah is just so interested in them because he's the nosiest dog in the world. But tonight, I'm going to use this one. How cute is it? The little donut. Actually, got sprinkles on. So cute. It smells so nice too. So that's what Sai wants to show you guys. Have you actually? No! <laughs> tell me you've got a spoiled dog, though. Tell me you've got a spoiled dog. Yeah, you! I'm speaking about you! I'm telling everyone. I'm telling all the YouTube family what you really like. Yeah, I'm showing them. Mm -hmm. Right. See you guys. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. <laughs>
now the rain is kind of going off it's still spitting very lightly but Saya met the cutest little one-year-old Labrador oh it was just gorgeous he had such a lovely little play so now we're gonna head back go home start the cleaning up where Alan says all the little clips of garden playing and stuff and he was in the water chasing the birds honestly this dog is just such an adventure dog <laughs> Like, I am so hungry at walk today, she's really taking it out of me. So, thanks. <laughs> 